So if you've been on my channel very long, you know that the way I've always started sweet potatoes in the past was I used the water method with the sweet potatoes suspended in the water with the toothpicks and a mason jar. And I would say in those videos that I usually always kept a sweet potato plant vine growing year round in my house. That was actually a common thing that was done like back in, uh, I don't know, 70s, early to mid 80s and before that time period. Uh, my grandma always had a sweet potato vine growing in her house. Like that's usually where you saw it was at your, like your grandparents' house. And people did that so they could grow sweet potatoes every year. They just keep one sweet potato vine growing year round. And then as, you know, generations come and go, but the way we've been doing it, we've been taking a sweet potato, suspending it in water, waiting until it, you know, gets sprouts on it. We trim the sprout, twist the sprouts off, put it in water, wait on the roots to grow, then transfer it to soil. Anyways, so people have been asking me if this method is works better. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've never done it. So the way you do this is you take a normal seedling tray and you put soil in it that's damp, not soggy, not soggy and not soaking wet, but damp. Then you put sweet potatoes in it, covered about halfway. Then you put this on a seedling heat mat. And that's what we're going to do. Um, so the other thing is too, while I was going through three years of cancer treatment and recovery and all that stuff, the vine that I actually had died. So I'm basically starting over this year 2024 I bought two sweet potatoes let me show you those I didn't even know they sold bags of sweet potatoes these are like really small sweet potatoes these are about the size of the ones that I would use to start in water but because I wasn't sure whether or not I could actually get these to uh, sprout or not I also just got two regular like the bulk sweet potatoes these both come from Walmart I don't know if they're going to work. We're going to see. So let's get started. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a sweet potato. I kind of picked the ones that I thought would be like the suitable size for like sprouting that I would normally use from like my garden. We're going to put this sweet potato in this soil. And I'm going to try to keep these. I'm going to build up the soil around that a little bit better than what it is. We'll get the other one. I'm going to basically do two sweet potatoes of each variety is what it boils down to. Here's the second one. Got it in there. Let's do two of these. I probably should have prepared better for this video, but I didn't. Man, people actually buy and eat these. I don't like that little short stubby one. Let's reach back in there and see if we can find something better. That one's short and stubby. There's a long skinny one. I know from previous experience that the longer skinnier ones always seem to do better in like the mason jar method. So we're going to try this. I'm going to build the soil up around those a little bit better. I'll bring you right back. We're going to look something like this. I am going to add some water to it too. I'm probably not going to record. I'd need to get a little bit more on this one. So it's my understanding that when you use this method, you want about half of the sweet potato covered. And I would say we're probably pretty close there now. By the time I add water and that settles down, I think we're a little bit more on that end of that one. Then by the time that they settle down, I think that's going to be fine. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put water in this. I'm then going to put a cover on it and get this on top of a grow light. I'll bring you back at some point along that way. Going to have to excuse the mess. I'm getting tired of saying that, but that's just the way it is. So I'm in my living room. This is actually on a coffee table. I put the grow dome 
on the tray. I've got my seedling mat over here. I'm going to set this camera down and then get the mat under it and then bring you back. You can kind of watch me do that, I guess. Just takes a minute to slide this heat mat underneath this tray. Normally I have like a, uh, I have a bunch of stuff down the basement I would bring out to do these like, it's a uh, PVC like seedling station thing that I built several years ago. But I'm gonna be honest with you, since I got cancer and it's hard for me to stay caught up on everything, I just kind of prefer to do it, everything on an as needed basis and I don't really need that great big thing in here. So we'll just do it like this. And I'll get this plugged in. There we go. So now we got the sweet potatoes are in here. The uh, heat mat is under them. And we'll see how this goes. Today is uh, March 29th. And from the research I've done, it says it only takes about 22 days for these to be sprouted. That's pretty fast in sweet potato world. Because if you do the cup method, it normally takes about three months. So that's closer to 90 days. So we'll see. Today is March 29th. And we'll see if these are done. Let's see. 22 days. That would be around the 20th of April. Which will work out perfect because then that would give me a couple weeks to get them uh, transplanted into soil and hardened off. So I'll bring you back later. Wanted to give an update on the sweet potato slips. I planted these. The video said March 29th. That's the date that it was uploaded uh, on my GoPro account. So today is April 10th and I noticed this morning... There are sprouts in there. Give me just a minute. One of them actually rotted. They're in the top right. But right here on the end, you see the little sprout right here. And then that one's got one right there. So this is definitely way quicker uh, there's actually one right there too so this way is way faster than doing it in the cups without a doubt because the cups generally take about two months just to get them to start to show up and this has been what 11 12 days 12 days so probably in another week or two i'll be able to start uh cutting these off and transplanting them into soil. So I'll update that video when we get there. But yeah, this is good progress. This definitely seems way faster than putting the sweet potato in the water method, which is what I've done for all my whole entire life. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll update you a little bit later how this does. The next step. Thanks for watching.